Currently I have the bike set up and today is the big day. Look at that, look at me. Hello me. Hold up. Today is the day we're gonna change all these parts out. Kinda bent, kinda not so straight, but today, all of it's gonna get changed. So I have the rim and tire right there, and I have the two front forks in these boxes right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything off of this bike and make it brand new, and maybe by the end of this video, you might be able to see me ride it. Hopefully, maybe. All right, so I currently have my bike inside of my squat rack, squat rack, and you're probably wondering why I even have it here. The reason being, um, I have a front stand, so I do have a front stand for my Yamaha FZ07. It goes into the triple tree and it like goes up and it, it holds up pretty well. It's a good stand. I bought it off of eBay for like 70 bucks off of um, something. I forgot what it's called, but I bought it off there. It's not bad. This is the problem is my rear stand sucks. And whenever I have the two stands on there, if I move the bike a little bit, the stands tend to want to go in and the bike falls. So I don't know if you've seen it, but my last rebuild series, my bike fell down and it was like this close from the ground. So I actually bought an engine lift and lifted up my bike fully from the front and I worked out pretty well. But instead, I don't want to buy another engine lift just to have to return it after I'm done using it. I feel really bad and I feel like it's not the right thing to do. I decided to use my squat rack this time. So my plan is to tie down the triple tree, like the, yeah, the triple tree, and use ratchet straps and tie it to my squat rack and lift it up that way. Just because my stand is not the best and I think this idea might work so it's two options either one it works or two the bike actually ends up falling over so i don't know which one will work um i'm just gonna record it and let y'all watch um stay tuned here we go So we got the front headlight off, the brake lines removed so from here, everything is good and ready to go. We think we're going to go like a rasta strap like this and go all the way up. So I think this is going to be our plan. We have to do two rasta straps and go ahead and lift up from here and then two on this side as well. So we're going to do that and see how it goes. I'm going to set the camera down and hope for the best. Fingers crossed. All right, I think the wheel's off the ground. Let's... To me, the wheel is off the ground and is being held up. So I think the sketchy little contraption we did actually worked. Congrats, Brock. Thank you. Let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, God, bro. I'm so excited. If you haven't seen it, my last rebuild series, I showed you everything. So I showed you how to remove the wheel, how to remove the fork. So if you want to see how to remove anything from a Yamaha FZ07, look down in the link below. I'll have the rebuild, rebuild series linked there or go on my channel, the playlist. All the rebuild series, <laughs> all the rebuild series are linked there. I'm going to turn a little bit for so Brock. I'm going to get started. I'm going to stop talking so y'all can watch this little part and enjoy it. So I will see y'all um, in like a second.
right, and with that said, all the pieces are off. That was so simple. Like my last rebuild series, I think this whole thing took like what? Two days maybe? Two, three days? And I think we just did that in like 30 minutes maybe? I'm telling you, like, people that want to work on Yamaha FZ07s, I promise you, work on it. Don't be afraid to work on it. Super simple, super easy. Like, make sure you know what you're doing and then just rebuild it yourself. Don't go to the insurance company. Don't go to the dealerships. It's not worth the money. Just go here in your own garage. You can buy tools, you can rent tools. And it, at the end of the day, you could return the tools after you use them. But I mean, I'm not saying you should do that. It's probably not nice. But I mean, you could do that. It's, I'm so surprised how fast that was, honestly. All right, I think it's very hot in the garage. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up. <laughs> that was so quick. All right, so there's episode, um, don't remember, whatever episode this is. Like I've said before, I'm ahead of the actual episode. So I think this will be like episode 10, maybe 11, not 100% sure, maybe even seven or something like that. But there you go. All the old pieces are off and time to put the new pieces on there. But I'm not gonna do it in this video just cause I'm pretty sure the video is already long enough. And I want y'all to stay tuned for the next video cause I'm gonna put all of it on. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue working, finish this today. But I'm gonna do two separate videos. So we're gonna be wearing the same clothes. Pretty much it, right? Anything else you wanna say, Brock? No, bro. It was quick. That was very quick. Like, I'm telling you, like, maybe 30 minutes tops, not even. It's because we had two people. We had two, yeah. That is another reason. But the more hands you have, the easier it is. So, if you have a buddy, you know, buy him some lunch or something. Be like, hey, bro, you can help me out or whatever. So, make sure you don't do it during the summer. Because it's getting... You didn't get me any lunch. I'll buy you lunch somewhere. I, I gave you a monster, don't worry. So, I went to grab Brock's monster, and he actually is on the phone with his girlfriend right now. So, yeah, I can't give him a monster. But anyways, I'll drink for him. You guys don't even understand how fast these parts came off. I think within like 20 minutes, it was it was so quick, it was so easy. So there it is, the Rebuild series is getting on and maybe if y'all stay tuned for the next video, I might actually be riding this bike. So hopefully y'all liked it, I appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, look in the link below. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.